What up, what up? This is Scoop DeVille, and I'm about to make some crate music. Let's get it. Poetic justice, poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? They come from, from all around the world. Good fellas, good fellas, living on my block. Got a problem, I solve them. Used to see him stand out in the alley through my window. Drinking him with his homies, blowing six smoke. See what's good in the goodie box because I'm destined for greatness. Oh, wow! Nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love these things. See, now you're just placing me in a whole era now. So it's like we need to create the era vibe of this kind of situation here. This is dope. I like that. All right, what is this? I'm gonna file some nails. Random, but dope. We'll figure these things out as we go. Yep, I know what that is. Let's get it. Start your engines, buddy. Yeah, we're going into the pit. Oh, okay, cool. We're gonna hang some photos up. Dope, let's get it. I mean, you guys give me a lot of things to work with, but this is an amazing foundation as it is. The box got, got heat on it already itself, so I'm gonna try to use this box and make the foundation with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's dope, it sounds like some claps and already it's got like a weird vibe. Oh my goodness. Man, you might not even need any plugins, bro. It's just like, it's already sounding raw. There's like air coming out. Ooh, that's where it's at, sweet spot. You push yourself harder to use the things that are not so easy to, to work with. There's always something. If you don't have the type of things where the computer's like doing everything for you. That yeah. came from the crate. It's good to like be tangible. And that's how original music was made. You know, it was rhythms. It wasn't all about everything being so perfect. Oh, that sounds kind of crazy. Let's get weird. Wow, crazy. Dope sound. Oh, that's fire. Dope. Yeah, there's some nice little shaker action in there. Nice. Does this do anything? Uh-oh. I'm gonna jack this up. <laughs> this recipe. Tight, it is the recipe. That's cool, because I did that song, The Recipe, so. Okay, this makes a lot of noise, too. Uh oh. <laughs> Messing with the, the sound. Like, I'm wanting a bow or something to make, like, a tone, so that way I don't have to use a keyboard. I could just use all this stuff. So that was a cool little like hold it, held out tone. And when you slow it down, it creates other sounds in there. So now it sounds like, like a chord pattern or something, you know? I like the whole thing of the time stretching stuff with Ableton, like how you can stretch certain parts of your sounds out. So you can like, you know, stretch things or sustain things that aren't supposed to be that way. It's just raw audio. There's no EQ on anything right now. Dope sound. Let me do a little bit more of that tuning of the sounds. My father, he's a musician. His name is Kid Frost. He was really popular in the 90s, one of the first MCs on the West Coast. So, you know, I grew up around a lot of amazing musicians and artists and dancers and DJs and, you know, songwriters. I started creating music for my dad and he started like introducing me to his friends. And then that's like how when it all kind of changed from there. Definitely has a swing to it. Yeah, it has a swing. I need, I need to like figure out like some type of melody thing for it now. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like Brass Monkey with that drill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drill Monkey. Well, there's no special effects on anything. It's all raw audio, but I like the way some of the stuff sounds natural. So, you know, it's a lot to work with. So I'm gonna kind of just experiment a little bit. 
Let's see if I could do like a LFO thing on that or something, just to give it something unique. That's just a phalanger. Phalanges. That's crazy how much it adds. Kind of make it sound cool. It just keeps getting faster because there's so much like rhythm in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a universal rhythm. You can slow it down, it'll have a bounce, and then you could like, you know? Yeah, it has a nice hop to it. Yeah, it's trippy. You thinking of keeping it all analog with just the sounds out of the crate? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, I mean, we can add keyboards and stuff like that if we want to like spice it up. Just like a low, like a low frequency or something, just to give it a, like a bottom. That breakdown's tight. It's got like a Missy vibe or something. It's got like 18 sounds. I want to like make sure every sound has a special place when the record structures a little bit, but I want to kind of live with it and make sure everything kind of builds up. Just mic that thing. You just want to mic it? Yeah. well with the drill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There it is. Good stuff, man. It's weird sounds that you, you know, you don't really expect to use. It's experimental magic. You're like making your own sounds, you're making your own tones, you're making like your own rhythm without having to map it out. I didn't really like ch cut or chop anything. I could have did all no that. Click. I could have, yeah. No, no grid. No, yeah, I could have really made it all like stuttery or 808, but I didn't want to do all that. It's kind of just like all handmade. But that's the school of production and beats that, that I come from. We didn't have the tools to like time stretch and manipulate the sounds and all that. It was really just a raw, loop or a certain amount of seconds that you can take something and, and sometimes it wouldn't fall on beat the right way but that's what gave it the bounce and those elements are kind of gone with what we have now today but it's nice to bring those elements back in the mix too. It's a unique beat, it's got, it's got a weird sound to it. It's like some flashy party vibe. When people come over to the studio sometimes and they're not really used to how things are created, it takes time. It took about four or five hours to make the structure and to like live with it. It's a process and you gotta really zone out and, and get into it. It's like a meditation a little bit and that takes time and some people don't understand that. They're like, well, you keep playing it over and over again. But they don't understand like going into the sound and dissecting it, cleaning it out, making it pop out, doing things that you know, take time, but those are the things that make the record come to life.